What is going on, guys? So it is July the 30th, and we're going to check out what the Golden Vendor brought us this week. Hopefully something at least is semi-decent, because last week was pretty bad. All right, so we got Azerblight. It's definitely going to be a buy for me, personally. Um, I think this set is, has its potential on a few builds. Um, there's a few of note that I really want to test this on first, but... Yeah, so... I tried this out on Stamps work with the Bloodthirst from the Dual Wield skill. It's... The this set is really not the problem. It's the bloodthirst spammable. It's just really bad. They just roll dodge and they miss all of the ticks. So it's really kind of a lackluster in that scenario. But I, I have a few ideas and uh yeah, so I'm gonna test a few things. But I think this set can be really good uh, if you pair it up with a pretty much a proc cheese build. Uh, I have no shave anymore, so I just kind of play how I want and try different things. But definitely grab this. This is a solid set. This is come out every every single week, so definitely grab that. Scavenging demise. Um, Scavenging Mall. This is okay. I mean, obviously, this tooltip is insane. Uh, because I have a lot of weapon damage on this spec. But you have to deal poison damage. The only really few classes that deal poison damage can be like a Nightblade with poison injection or like a Stam DK. Um, uh, maybe is Shock's poison? Uh, I don't remember. I think it is though. But. I mean, this could be decent, I guess, but it's a two second delay. So it's kind of not the best and it doesn't provide like this a CC like the other one does. There's like a different one that's pretty much similar to this. I think the other ones are going to be better, though, because it provides a good like burst CC um, for the for the set. So grab this if you want to. But I just don't think this set is that great. I've never tried it personally, but I, I may give it a whirl. Uh, I don't know yet. So Necklace of Fire. This isn't bad. Um, if you're running that like one shot stamps work build, this is definitely another option to run other than like the other few sets. I'm not going to name the sets, but um, yeah, this is definitely a good option for that for sure. I mean, you just deal damage with a weapon, so you can just like heavy attack, light attack, whatever. I was going to proc that flame damage, and it's pretty nasty. On uh, Diagna, they've buffed this a little bit, adding that five piece of feeling taken. I don't think it's that great anymore. Or really at all. I mean, minor vitality really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, you'd probably be better off using like something like Dangerous Trickery uh, other than this. That's just my opinion, though. Because you have to double bar this set, and it doesn't look that great, to be honest. So, not my ideal choice there. Celestrix, um, I've always wanted to run this set. It has, you know, it, it does a pretty decent CC. It has a decent AoE. But it just has that one and a half second um, proc time. And it's just not going to be good for PvP. So it, it, it could be good in certain scenarios, like if you're running in a Zerg and you just like put down AOEs. So, I mean, it could be good in that scenario, but overall in a vast majority of circumstances, Celestix really isn't a really good set to use, honestly. Engine Guardian, I really recommend you guys get this. Solid monster set. I know this is probably an easy dungeon to, to get it in, but regardless, it's still a good set to get. If you can't beat it for whatever reason, definitely grab it. So, Vendor is okay this week. I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Azerblight is probably a must buy. Necklace of Fire is a decent buy. Scavenging Demise is pretty decent. And um, Engine Guardian is definitely a good buy. So, that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.